Hi, I'm Renee. I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. Hey there, fellow cleaning enthusiasts. Welcome back to Less Mess, or if you're new here, welcome. And I'm beyond excited to dive into today's cleaning adventure together. In this video, I'm taking on the ultimate challenge of a pantry packed to the brim and stuff stacked almost waist high. I know how overwhelming it can be to face a cluttered pantry, but fear not, because today we're going to transform this chaos into a beautifully organized and functional space. Whether you love the therapeutic aspect of cleaning, or just want to maintain a spotless and organized space, you've come to the right spot. And attention to all the wonderful viewers who have requested a slower, longer video, this one is dedicated to you. So sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy an extended cleaning session. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment for a whole lot of cleaning fun. Well, at least I think it's fun. Your patience and support mean the world to me, and I'm thrilled to provide you with the content you've been asking for. So without further ado, let me share with you the fascinating backstory behind this pantry project. It all began with a referral from her aunt, whom I had the pleasure of organizing her pantry. Check out the link above for that amazing transformation. She was so delighted with the results, she recommended my services to her niece, who happens to be a grade school teacher. I need to investigate why the door wasn't staying open as it was hindering my progress. Recognizing the challenges she faced with her pantry, the niece reached out for assistance, hoping to achieve the same level of organization and satisfaction. Upon arriving at the home, I was warmly greeted by her mother-in-law, who kindly let me in and provided direction on where to go. As the homeowner was still at work, I appreciated her thoughtfulness in ensuring a smooth start to the organizational process. Now armed with a clear understanding of the situation, I jumped right in. As you can see, my first task was to gain access into the pantry and initiate the process of removing all of its contents. As I carefully pulled out each item, I strategically staged the food and various items on the dining room table. This staging process allowed me to have a clear overview of what I was working with and enabling better organization and decision making.
The dining room that I was using as a staging area was getting tight, and to accommodate the situation, the mother-in-law kindly set up another additional table for me. Great news, I found the floor beneath all this clutter. However, it seems there was an unexpected discovery. Live and dead cockroaches in the pantry. Onward to a clean and pest-free pantry. If you've never been to someone's house before, would you feel comfortable eating food from there? Assuming they have a clean, insect-free home? Leave a comment below. And as you all know, maintaining a clean and pest-free pantry becomes even more crucial when children live in the home. Their safety and well-being are paramount, and that's why it's essential to take proactive measures to ensure a hygienic and pest-free environment. Not only will an organized and clean pantry make life easier for the parents, but it will also promote healthy habits and a positive atmosphere for the children.
Ah, the internal debate of expired food versus sell-by dates. I anticipate receiving comments and questions about this topic. Let me clarify that during the organizing process, I came across food items that had expired over a range of years from 2012 all the way to 2022. It's essential to address the concerns surrounding food safety and make informed decisions about what to keep and what to discard. So as always, I come prepared with my handy-dandy magnifying glasses to check for the expiration dates. If you're interested in getting your own, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check them out. They're a lifesaver when it comes to ensuring we stay on top of food safety in this pantry.
Now that I've identified what's blocking the door from opening, it's time to address the issue and take care of it once and for all. Now that everything is laid out on what to keep, I'm all set to bring order and efficiency back into this pantry space. Time to put everything back together. I start by organizing like items with like items and like food groups with like food groups. All the food and items that were not expired. I also put back the food that was staged on the dining room table and started putting those items back in. My idea was to create a designated kid food area on the lower shelves, ensuring that all items were easily reachable for the kids.
Throughout the entire process, the mother-in-law stayed, which is not unusual. However, looking back, my first red flag should have been when she repeatedly asked, does she know what you're doing? I reassured her that the homeowner was aware of the organizational project. After investing five hours in cleaning out and organizing the pantry, I shared the pictures with the homeowner. Initially, she was overjoyed with the results and her husband explained, thank God. It was truly rewarding to see their positive reaction to the transformed space. I took the time to inform her that I had encountered a minimum of 12 cockroaches in the pantry and she said, I bet because our bug lady couldn't get in there. At least they were dead. However, much to my surprise, the following morning I received a text message from her. It read, Good morning. I'm grateful for your help. However, the last two weeks, my mom and I had moved all the food, so the older stuff was in the front, waiting for the trash or donation, and the new food was in the back. I did not mention it because you said you checked all the dates. I figured you checked the front ones and decided to toss it all thinking it was the old because when I looked in the pantry, all the groceries I had just bought were also missing. I was also shocked to find party supplies, plates, napkins, cups, silverware and serving trays, Ziploc bags, tin foil, and cloth tote bags had also been thrown away among other things. Those things do not expire and should have been put aside if you were not sure of a place for it. Now I have the daunting task to go through all those bags to find my food and whatever else and put it all away. Needless to say, I was quite surprised. My response was, good morning. When you have a moment, give me a call and let's discuss. Her immediate response was, no thank you. So my question for you, when you spot a cockroach infested item and see them running across, would you toss them out or would you opt to save them? Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey of cleaning. I've tackled clutter, organized this pantry, and even encountered some unexpected challenges along the way but I've turned this pantry into a true oasis of cleanliness and efficiency. In total, there was over 70 bags of expired food or trash in this pantry. Thank you so much for watching. The next video is ready for you to watch, and I'll see you there.